Hey, good morning, everybody. Well, today's Saturday, the 13th, and it's 0630. Yeah, what day's just beginning? Yeah, I shaved. Started getting a rash on the side of the face. I think I caught it on time, though, because I shaved yesterday. I had a, a rash right here. So this is the beginning of our day. Uh, let's see what the, let's see what Miles doing right now. She test she told me she wanted to sweep. All right, memes. Got Mucky eating his morning treat. I don't know if Mimi ate hers yet. Did you eat your treat, meme? What you doing? Sweeping. You're sweeping. Oh, Miles is guarded, man. It looks healthy, healthy, healthy. You know that, Miles? You know why it's healthy? Because I haven't touched it. <laughs> I'm being honest, man. Which one? Yeah. What is it? This. What about it? The lips. Okay. Well, it doesn't surprise me. Look at all the trees the around us. And the mangoes dropping again. Yeah. Got mangoes on the ground. Like I said, there's more that ends up on the ground than in people's bellies. Right, Miles? Well, you, you slept in, so what? Yeah, Miles slept in till six o'clock. You believe her? <laughs> and I was like, who cares? You could have slept in till eight. I could care less. I cannot sleep. That's why I do the crochet until one o'clock. Damn. Ants. Yeah, uh, man, I gotta get out of here. I'm getting eaten, bitten by if red ants. That's another thing you have to watch too, man. Is those, those ants? They bite. Huh? I was talking about the ants. Oh, okay. Yeah, them ass, man, those little tiny ones, they bite and they hurt. Well, this is the beginning of our day. Hopefully you watched the whole video. If you do, I do appreciate it. Remember, give us a like. Hit the thumbs up. Damn, them ants. Give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. It ain't going to cost you anything. Take me out for a little spin if you like it. Stick around if you don't. Hey, if you don't, I have no control over it. So I'll talk to you guys in a little while. I'm back for now. Hey, how's everybody doing? Well, first off, I want to apologize <laughs> for the video that was uploaded yesterday morning. Right towards the end, you, you, it was a bunch of buzzing and everything like that. That was because the, the wire going from the cam the camera or the GoPro to the wireless trans uh, receiver was loose the connection I must have been uh, you now when I was carrying it I must have hit it and it kind of loosened it up so I apologize for that when I was editing <coughs> when I was editing you didn't you couldn't hear it until after the fact when I uploaded it and I was watching it to see and make sure it was okay yeah, right towards the end, or at the end, it was all zzzz. I was like, oh, man. Like I said, man, this is, this is a real life channel. So, I make mistakes. So let's go on to better, bigger and better things. Well, the generator came in today. And yes, this is it right here. Check this damn thing out. Now I see why it was such an issue of getting it shipped here. It's not like in other places where they got these big box vans and stuff like that that can carry it. They do it usually on either on the back of a pickup truck. And in the town of Badak, what they use is a tricycle. But instead of the side cart being for sitting, it's usually where they put things on it. You know, you've seen them around. That couldn't even, from the warehouse of the uh, wire shock to here, they couldn't even use that. It was too big and too heavy. They end up 
get in a dump truck, <laughs> a dump truck, or at least I think it was a dump truck, put in the back of that and bringing it over. Here it is right here. Check it out, man. It's made by Powerhouse. It's a 8.5 kVA generator, diesel, diesel generator. Now, and I, let me show you something. Let me, <laughs> they had, they had five guys. And these guys were pretty stocky, okay? Young, youngsters, not like me. Now, I used to be in the weightlifting and everything like that, okay? I haven't done it in years, so, you know, I lost a lot. The thing is heavy. Heavy. Now, what I have to put on it, you know, I was thinking of all these elaborate ways and, and putting it on a tripod and everything like that, and Miles like, you know, whoa, slow down there, cowboy. <laughs> she goes... I, I really don't want to be spending all that money. And then I thought about it and I was like, yeah, you know, she's right. Miles is, she's smart. So, it comes with wheels. You got these wheels, let me give you a close up. You got these wheels for it. So all I gotta do now, there's no uh, nuts, just bolts, okay, which is great. So that tells me there's already, you know, on the bottom of a plate or something where I just screw the bolts into, which is great. But the problem is, is I gotta figure out a way how to get it lifted up a little bit. Keep in mind it's heavy. Lift it up a little bit so I can get the wheel underneath there and, and bolt it down. So, let me go back, let me regret, let me go back to what I was saying. Miles is like, why are you gonna spend all that money getting that cement pedestal made up, get, you know, to keep it permanently in the front yard. It's because it's gonna be ugly. I don't wanna look at it every day. <laughs> so I said, okay. So it comes with the wheels. We'll keep it in the garage. And when we need it, Miles will be rolling it out now. I'm just joking. You know, I'll be rolling it out, probably with Miles' help. That's just the way Miles is. He always wants to help. Roll it out. Right here, that's the, Got a battery. You got your start and stop right there. You gotta have that on one. You hit that, it stops. This is the access. Push that to start it. It's got a key. You gotta have the key on. It starts up. Also have right here where I can charge up a, you know, charge up maybe batteries or something. I'm not sure. Got your one time on here. Fuel fuel tank right here that gives has a lever indicator right there. There's your fuel tank. Fuel tank is empty, of course. You got the front or the back, depending on how you look at it. Now this is supposed to be a silent silent one generator, but we'll see. And here's the generator here. So, having, I mean, I didn't realize it was going to be this big. I mean, it's not huge, but it's big. You all got to admit, it's, it's big. So, and it's 8.5 kVA. I don't know if somebody's going to say, well, why, why you need something that big? Well, you know. Or rather, if I got the money, I'd rather buy something. Sorry about that. I'd rather buy something that I know I could use for indefinite amount of time, keep it serviceable. I mean, I was in engineering, you know, so I was in engineering in the military. So I know about the, doing your pre-checks, check the oil, make sure everything's good to go. But we're gonna have an electrician, electrician that I wanna use, okay? Because I trust the guy, he's an electrical engineer. 
I know you, you hear them labels all the time, an engineer this, an engineer that, but this guy is really good. He's the one that came here and put all the plugs in for my uh, split con air cons, my split air cons or air con split units. He's the one to put all the plugs in, but I also want to have in one of the small rooms, okay, we're never going to have that as a bedroom, all right? But the back bedroom, the back west side bedroom, uh, that doesn't have an air con, it doesn't even have a plug, so we're going to see if he can move the plug that's in that really, really small room that one time I had as an office, but it gets hot as hell in there, and move it, the plug, into the, big, the bedroom, the bigger bedroom. Actually, that bedroom's just a little bit smaller than the, the massive bedroom, and it doesn't have its own bathroom. But we're more likely to use that bed, that room for a bedroom, a guest bedroom, I guess you could say, than anything else. So we'll have one, two, we have three rooms that are air con. And that one's a one, 1 1.5 horsepower. Yeah, we'll get him in here. He's really good. He's the one that, that straightened out of all the electrical problems in the house. It was an electrical, electrical nightmare when he came here. He even told me, he says, I don't know who did this, but woo. Our house wasn't even grounded. He grounded the house out for us, yeah. So, that's where we're at right now. So I got the generator in, I, you know, and they, they delivered it. I was like, now I see why they had a problem delivering it to me. You gotta remember you're in the Philippines, man. They, they, they do what they can, you know? But I have nothing bad to say about the wire shack. I mean, they jumped through a lot of hoops trying to get it here. It was just trying to find a, uh, a shipper from Luag to here. That was the whole problem, you know? But and I appreciate them getting it here. Now the fun begins. We're waiting on a call from the electrician, and we'll go from there. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Hey, well, yes, it's still Saturday the 13th. And we're on our way to the festival thing. It's not going on yet, though, is it? Tomorrow. Yeah, Start. it starts tomorrow, but we're hoping that the food stalls are open. So we're taking an adventure. Right, Miles? Yes. Tomorrow you bid you the, the parade, I guess. Yeah, the parade and everything like that. And today is National Miles Night Off. <laughs> Today's Miles Night Off, so we're going to go get something to eat. We'll probably grab it and come back to the house. Make life a little bit easier on us, right? I see the way they have the cheese. What's it called that? I don't know. Mac cheese? Mac cheese? Yeah. Like Never a, heard of it. You remember the, the no. macaroni? Oh, macaroni and cheese? Macaroni and cheese. Oh, okay. Alright, we'll check it out. Let's see what they got going on. Hopefully the music's not blaring. Cooking smell. No, that's cigarette. Oh, well, they were all smoking back there. Yeah, like I said, they got music playing. I got to stop recording. <laughs> oh, the, I don't know if it's open. They're all yelling at me. That's all right. Though. 
Hey, they got empanadas. Where? Right uh, there. <laughs> Oh yeah. Why is everybody staring at me? Right there. Yeah, right there. Sister. Hello. <laughs> What, sir? What are you going to? Pepperoni. Don't be scared. Come on. Don't be Pepperoni. scared. Pepperoni. I'm going to have. Meet the cow, sir? Yeah. And Meat. what do you want? Pepperoni. Oh, she wants pepperoni. Meat and pepperoni, sir. Yeah. How long is it going to take this? 15 to 20 minutes. Because oh, we're going to go for a walk. You want me to pay for it now? Pay for it when I get back. Okay, I'll be back. You know where I live. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yeah, I ordered them. The meaty cows are really good. And Miles ordered a pepperoni. We'll be able to eat them all. I'd probably be able to eat the whole. They're not, it's like a, it's like a little bit smaller than a medium. I, I could down it with no problem. Miles, so eat two or three slices and say, I'm full. I am full. It's. Okay, let's see what they got. Hey, hello, hello. Envy, the one in the. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they make. They have good food here, who? Envy Snack House? Good food. Got micro burger. Yeah. Micro burger. They're not. They're probably not going to be open until the actual festival. Oh yeah, maybe. You know? Yeah, micro burgers are, are pretty good, man. I can't. Oh, I'm I'm looking at the hamburgers. <laughs> How I am there? I know these are good. The bacon fries, they're pretty good. So now they're not going to have everything on the menu, okay? What I mean is, if you go to a, a brick and mortar Marco Burger, the menu is a lot bigger than this. These are good. The chicken, they're good. These are okay. They're okay. But these are definitely good. The bacon fries, the nachos are good. The chicken burgers are good. Got some kid clothes. Got some slippers. Okay. I guess the, this is unofficially open. Tomorrow's the official, official, right? XL, this is XL. You need, you need Fat Man. Fat Man size, Miles. Fat Man. Hello. That's what I'm You know, I'm, I'm getting tired. I gotta start buying. This is small, XL. That's an XL? Yep. Small. I can see the arm. Yeah. See, I have a hard time right around the armpits, man. It gets real, they're like really tight on me. They don't, they don't, they don't have fat man size. I'm not in denial, man. The 
I'm just trying to figure out where these big guys, big big Filipinos, where they get their clothes at. <laughs> you know? It's like, where do you get your clothes, man? Hello. <laughs> Go. <laughs> you know, I only order now from. Yeah. Ah. Let's see if they got any light color hats. Huh? Now, New York now. Um, Steelers. Yes, sir. How you doing, man? <laughs> Phillies? Phillies, sir. You got any Eagles? Yes, sir. Uh, Phillies Angels. No, the Angels logo. No, the Eagles. You ever hear the Philadelphia Eagles? Eagles. It doesn't help, sir. You don't have... <gasps> you need to pack everything up and go there. This one, sir. I give you a discount. For only 350 pesos, sir. How much you want for it? 150. 150? Yeah. No, sir. It, how much? Uh, 350. Oh, 350? Yes, I thought 150. That's not bad for a ball cast. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. I, got, I got complain, but I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. That's not bad for a ball yeah. This one's already... Uh, nah, Florida. Florida. <laughs> 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 this one's triple black. It's thirsty. Double snap with silver pattern. Or this one, sir? This team right here. Very lightweight. Madina mut nor kaya kaya taa. No, no. What do you all think, man? Philadelphia Phillies. They didn't have no Eagles, but I was going to buy a Pittsburgh and burn it. This one, a big duck. Huh? I was really never a baseball man. Well, I'm really not into sports. And ever since I joined the military, I kind of sports wasn't my thing. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome to my blog. <laughs> Welcome to my blog. Welcome to my blog. Hello. Huh? I just wanted to see if there's somebody here that we purchased. I don't. Yeah, last year they had a. What was it called? They had this ice cream, man. It was Oreo ice cream, but it was so good. Hey. Huh? Owned by a Korean. Yeah, it was Korean. Who cares? It was good. Head back to Pizza Capadres. Yeah, we're gonna head back to Pizza Capadres and see if our pizzas are done. Remember, I said a couple videos ago that I ranked them number two. Miles Pizza's number one. So the the, piece, the pizzas are pretty good, man. So we'll check out, we'll check out.
You all done? Hey, hello, hello. How much are you? 440. 440. Don't worry about the tank. All right, thank you very much. No problem, no problem. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna, Miles looking, for, we got the pizza. And now we're looking for something to drink. We'll get something to drink and then we're going home. It's all New York. Where's the people that sell the drinks? Sodas. Huh? Oh, we will buy in the, in the store. Oh, the sorry, sorry? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna head to the sorry, sorry and buy the sodas. I mean, I don't care where we get them, but you gotta have something to drink with pizza. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. Isn't that right, Miles? Yeah. You gotta drink something with pizza. Huh? Hello! <laughs> hey. Yeah, so we're headed to the sorry side. Get some. What are you going to get? Pepsi. Pepsi. I mean, I don't care. As long, as, not Coke though. Coke. I don't know. It messes with my stomach. But I will get the bottle. Yeah, but we. Don't let us bring one back, won't they? And I will come back. To don't even worry. Huh? Just get a soda and tell them we'll be back. We'll bring back the empty I one. Know. We're done with this video for today, right? We're done with this video for today, so I'll go ahead and close it out. But like I always say, be good to each other, be good to yourself, and don't worry about the small stuff. Bye-bye. You gonna say bye-bye? <laughs>